What's up, everybody? Redthorn here, bringing you Aiden Castle Clan Ward number three, round one here in Lineage 2 Revolution. Let's go. Okay, it's been a couple of weeks. Just absolutely nothing happening. No, no real fight. There were real fights. They weren't worth recording. There's no castle sieges. We're back to that again. Two weeks in a row of no videos. I can't remember the last time that has happened. However, Aiden Castle, Clan War, number three, round one. Let's see what's going on here. So here in the first row, congratulations to the main event, Oblivion and Anorexy for making it to round two by default. This was the battle that I was going to do, as Slappers did not have that much combat power for their clan uh, a few hours ago. They have super stacked. I mean, you know, that could... It's its a one-on-one-on-one, -on -one -on -one. so it's definitely a fight, I think, worth watching, because no... Lancer, obviously, they're not allied with anybody here, but as Slappers is Patron, Requiem is Legion, those two aren't allied with each other, so that could be a good fight. I'm not going to do that one. I would like to say congratulations to FSK for successfully making it to the second round. Three times the charm. Of course, it's by default, but hey, they made it to the second round, so good job there. Korea, congratulations to them. Second round. Redemption versus Nemesis. Yeah, look at those numbers. Okay, moving on. This is the fight that I'm actually going to do. Those numbers are a lot closer. It looks like Unruly is part of Patron. Fira is part of Fire and Ice. If Fira were to win, you're looking at Korea, Fira, and FSK versus Redemption. That doesn't really bode too well for Redemption. Now, trust me, they know how to fight, and they'll definitely make it a fight. You know what I'm saying? I, I know that they would love to win this particular row because... When we get to the third row, you'll see why. Unruly, I mean, they have skyrocketed in, in CP. And you'll notice that uh, Oblivion, Oblivion was over 600 million. They're down, so the, obviously they've been dumping some people into Unruly to try to make it a two-on-two, -two, which would be more in favor of Redemption winning this row rather than being a three-on-one. So that's the fight I'm definitely going to do. Keep it classy. I don't know why they even bothered at 231. But, uh, hey, you know, at least they're trying. Moving on to the third row. Congratulations down under Valhalla Prime. So Mythic Cat Box Potatoes. I think Potatoes is going to... I think Potatoes is going to win that one. Mythic is part of the underestimated alliance with Valhalla and Down and Under. And all three of them are in this row. Catbox, I don't... They're independent now. They used to be Impact. Potatoes will likely win that. So if Potatoes wins that, Oblivion will probably win round two here. Potatoes will probably win, win, win round two there. It would set up a three-on-one again. And if Redemption wins round two, then it's a four-on-zero. Or a zero on four, which will make basically what I'm saying is Saturday is going to be a pointless. It's going to be a pointless video, no matter how you look at it. It's going to be a four, zero on four or one on a one on three, and that's just like you know, whatever. So we're gonna watch this one is what we're gonna do. Although I still got two minutes before anything. Yep, they still won't let us in. Okay, I will be back in a little less than two minutes for the beginning of this battle. See you then. We'll Ten seconds before we begin. Good luck to everyone involved. Five seconds before we begin. Here's Unruly. We're gonna run on down here. Yes, Unruly would absolutely love to win this battle. That'll make things so much easier for Redemption. These numbers, this is going to be super close. I have no doubt this is going to bounce back and forth. Maybe. Whoa, Fira just skyrocketed up there. Holy moly. Oh, they are just jumping up there. They must be crushing something. Oh, you know what they're doing? 
They're farming. Keep it classy. That's what they're doing. Something unruly should have been doing. Looks like Fira has... Established dominance here in the middle with Unruly trying to go after both sides, but not looking good for Unruly. Boy, I thought this was going to be a good fight. I was wrong. Here is definitely... running away with this fight a little bit. And I was basing this off of, off of the CP. Difference between the two, uh, the raw CP at least, and that's unfortunate because the other one was like 100, what did I say, like 150 million between the first and third place and, and 139 million between the first and second place. And this was what, like 40 or less? Oh yeah, keep it classy, see, just getting farmed for points right now. <laughs> Sucks for them. Unruly could sneak a win in here, though. If Fear doesn't pay attention to what Unruly's doing, which is... Probably trying to farm, keep it classy. For points, then... I'm trying to see where they're... Trying to see where... I, I'm looking at... I don't know what I'm looking at. I saw a path and I went to take the path, but it's not a real path. <laughs> Here's Keep It Classy. See, there's Unruly. I mean, Keep It Classy is just standing around. Unruly is farming them for some free points, but it doesn't seem to be enough. Well, I mean, Fear is not even bothering to come down here. I mean, why do they don't need to? Why would they? But Unruly, on five, five minutes remaining in this battle, Unruly has maybe, but the respawn rate is apparently not enough, because look, Fear is now 700 points ahead, despite the fact that Keep It Classy is being farmed by Unruly. So they may have, I mean, it was a good attempt but they may have been better off trying to get inside here. I mean, you got a whole you got a whole staircase here with nobody there. It'll be interesting. The timers 
the timers of uh Because I really believe Oblivion dumped some people here into Unruly to try to help them out in this fight. Still not a bad fight though, it's just unfortunate. That I lost my train of thought. It's unfortunate that I lost my train of thought. See, Unruly shouldn't have their elders here. Or their leader. Because that's giving fear of points. The elders and the leader should be down there farming Keep It Classy. And everyone else should be here. Fighting. They're down by a thousand now. We've got 2 minutes and 15 seconds remaining in this battle. But I think Ass Slappers won, and I think uh, Potatoes won. Those are the other two real fights. That's who I'm calling, Ass Slappers and Potatoes. I'm totally looking forward to Thursday, though. God, I truly believe Redemption's going to be in for one heck of a fight. Probably going to be begging everybody for, for their high, highest powered people to help them fight that uh, one versus three. We have 90 seconds remaining in this battle. This is pretty much done done and done for Unruly. But hey, definitely one of the better first round fights I've recorded. Considering this is the only third this is the third one that I've recorded. <laughs> And we have 60 seconds remaining in this battle. This is in the bag for Fira. So congratulations to Fira. There is no way Unruly is going to win in the next 47 seconds. Less than 30 seconds remaining. I just fell down something. 10 seconds remaining in this battle. And congratulations! As we skip this, to Fira. Here are your stats. Oh, we okay. Hey, well, there we go. Congratulations to Rufio for taking number one. Thirty-seven kills and zero deaths. Lyriac. Congratulations to Lyriac from Unruly for taking number one over there. I've got 30 seconds, so I can probably slow down. Keep it classy. Congratulations to Bonkers from Keep It Classy. 
They didn't have a whole heck of a lot there. There are your stats. And there you go. I was I was correct. Ass slappers won. Potatoes won. So Aiden Castle Westgate Garden. That is patron. It, that is all patron. So you know whatever. I'm gonna call Oblivion on that one. Aiden Castle Eastgate Garden. I'm gonna call Potatoes on that one. So here we have it for Thursday. Aiden Castle Southgate Garden Battle. Korea, FSK, Infira, all part of Fire and Ice versus Redemption, part of Patron. Battling it out, that will be one hell of a battle, I think, because that is not a fortress or castle siege. That's a capture the flag, and that's going to be super exciting. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video, and thanks so much for watching. I will see you again.